Hey everybody, and welcome to the next Smoke and Flame quick tip. Now this one's on a cool, probably unknown feature um, on using Alt when you're, uh, you know, toggling presets or saving or renaming to stop the command prompt. So when you use Alt, what it does is it just pretty much does a replace. So the first uh, way I'm going to show this, if I pull out a render node and um, just press F4 and then do Control P, so I'm in proxy. If I wanted to render this, it's going to render in proxy, and, I, and I'm aware of that. Um, when you do press it, though, it'll give you this prompt, and you know this is just another click. So I'm going to press cancel, and all you do is, um, so I'm still in proxy mode, is just hold down Alt and press render range, and it's going to bypass that dialog, which can save you a bunch of time, um, you know, depending on you know a lot of little things. Now the other thing that uh, Alt can help you with is when using presets. So if I go to uh, just pull out two stylized nodes and say for this one, you see it defaults to the, the main one. Usually if you change this, it again, it'll prompt you. So I'm just going to confirm and it'll change it. But again, we can change these if we hold down Alt while we look at these and just go bang. So we can quickly, again, uh, not interrupt our workflow just by holding down Alt. Now, the other uh, way that this works too is also with um, save. So right now um, I'm in iteration number one and if I do iterate, and then increment, you see I'm in iteration number two now. And if all you want to do is just uh, replace, again, all you do is hold down Alt and iterate, and it's just going to do the equivalent of replace, which is really cool and quick when you're, when you're working. And that also applies to the desktop. So usually you save desktop, and it will prompt you for a replace, rename. So I'm just going to press replace. But again, if you hold down Alt and just click it, it's going to automatically replace it. So again, another thing that can just speed up uh, your workflow. Now the last um, way you can use this too, which is a very handy way, I'm just going to pull out an action and just double click on analyzer and just analyze um, and just stop it just so you can see. So what happens is, um, I'm sure you guys know, is when you do use the analyzer or the 3D camera and if you duplicate this and say you want to use it as a projector, um, if we did, um, I'll just cancel that and just set key keep. So I zeroed out the keyframes and usually, you know, if you're being logical, you'll rename it, so I'll just call it projector. I press enter, you see it gives us another prompt, which is expressions will be modified, confirm, and that's fine. And again, another kind of, another button to click. So the workaround, again, is uh, slightly different, but using alt. So I'm just going to duplicate that, and I'm just going to go in there and press up, down, just to have the last thing. If I hold down alt and just click out here in the schematic, it'll automatically do it and bypass that, um, that prompt. So Again, uh, a small little feature, but um, a feature that saves me a bunch of time and hopefully it'll save you guys a bunch of time. So that's going to be it for this quick tip, guys. Stay tuned for more.